Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to show you how to build an AI voice receptionist for local businesses using Go High Level. I'll cover everything you need to know from finding the right business to setting up the voice receptionist and everything in between. But before we dive into the details, I have a special offer for you. Normally, if you go through Go High Level's website, you get a 14 day free trial. However, with my link, you'll receive a 30 day free trial. And on top of that, as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart, which walks you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level offers many features and it's easy to get lost. In my course though, I highlight the most important aspects to focus on, helping you start making money using Go High Level in those initial 30 days. Additionally, you'll receive my top notch, high quality templates for free, including the Business Hub template for managing your business and the finance hub for tracking your finances, among others. They're worth $900 plus, but you'll get all that for free as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description. Simply click the first link to find all the details about these offers and how to claim them. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Now, let's dive in. The first step in creating an AI voice receptionist for local businesses is to figure out which businesses would benefit the most. Usually businesses that get a lot of phone calls are the best fit. For example, restaurants, medical offices, salons, and services like legal or accounting firms often deal with busy phone lines during peak hours. This can lead to missed calls and lost opportunities. In these situations, having an AI receptionist can make a big difference by keeping customers happy and avoiding lost leads. Once you know which business could use use an AI voice receptionist, the next step is showing the owners why it's valuable. Many business owners might not be familiar with AI automation, so it's important to explain how it solves their problems. After you explain the benefits of an AI voice receptionist to a business owner, the next thing to do is set it up using Go High Level. This platform makes it super simple with an easy to use interface for creating and managing AI agents. First, log into your Go High Level agency account and then switch to the sub account where you want to build the AI voice receptionist. From there, go to the settings and then click on voice AI agents. This will open a new page where you can create a new voice agent. On this page, click the create agent button at the top right side. Now it will take you to the AI voice agent setup page. The setup is split into three clear steps agent details, agent goals, and phone and availability. You need to go through each step in order to make sure the AI receptionist works perfectly. The first step is the agent details section where you set up the basic settings for your AI voice receptionist. First off, you'll need to fill out the agent name field. Pick a name that fits the role of the AI receptionist for the business. For example, if it's a boutique spa, you could name the agent like Luna virtual receptionist. This name is just for your reference, so make sure it clearly shows the purpose of the agent. Next, type the business name into the business name field. This is the name that AI will use when talking to callers. For example, if you're setting up the agent for a local business center, you could enter Active Life Fitness. This way, every call starts with the right business name. After that, choose the language that AI will use to communicate. While Go High Level supports different languages, it's usually best to pick English unless the business needs something else. Now, in the voice option, you can pick the AI generated voice that will represent the business. Go High Level gives you plenty of voice options with different tones and accents. You can click the play button to listen to each one and choose the voice that fits the business's brand. After that, adjust the time zone setting to match the business's location. If the business is in New York, make sure the time zone is set for New York. The next step is choosing the type of calls that AI will handle. In the direction field, you'll usually pick inbound calls because the AI receptionist is designed to manage incoming inquiries. Outbound calls might come in the future, but for now, the focus is on handling every incoming call smoothly. Finally, you need to set the agent's initial message. This is the greeting that the callers will hear when they first connect with the AI receptionist. For example, you could set it to say, Hello, you've reached Active Life Fitness. How can we help you achieve your wellness goals today? This message creates a positive first impression and lets callers know what to expect. Once all the fields in the agent details stage are filled out, click the next button to move on to the next step. The next step is the agent goals section. This is where you decide the specific tasks and responses that AI receptionists will handle during calls. It's a step where you teach the agent to gather important information and take follow-up actions based on what's discussed. For example, if you're setting up the AI for a local dental clinic, you can configure it to collect the caller's name, 
email and contact. In addition to collecting basic information, it's a good idea to include an option to add a short call summary. This summary works like a quick note that helps with future conversations. If a customer calls again, the AI or a human agent can review the summary to understand what happened during the last call. This saves time and avoids repeating the same things over and over. Another important thing is the ability to trigger automated workflows after a call ends. This means that once the call is over, the system can automatically kick off the next steps. Furthermore, you can set up the email notifications that go out after each call. By default, Go High Level sends notifications to the sub-account administrators, but you can adjust this to match the business's needs. You can send these notifications to all staff members handling customer support or just to the main contact for that inquiry. There's even an option to add custom email addresses for notifications. This way, the right team members are always informed about customer interactions and and can follow up when needed. Once you've decided what details the AI receptionist should collect and the actions it should trigger, take a moment to check all the settings. Then click the next button to move to the final step. The final step to set up your AI voice receptionist is the phone and availability section. Here you can assign a phone number to the AI receptionist. In the phone number field, pick an existing number from the drop down menu if one is available. But if you don't have a dedicated number yet, click the buy new number button. This will get you a unique phone line just for the AI system to handle incoming calls. For example, a local boutique could use this for online orders and customer inquiries. That way, all calls go directly to the AI receptionist without disrupting other business communications. Next, you'll see an option to enable AI agent as a backup to the phone number. This is great for businesses that already have a main phone line handled by a live receptionist. When you turn this on, the AI receptionist jumps in if the live agent doesn't answer in time. This way, every call is covered, even during busy times or when someone on your team Team is unavailable. Another critical aspect at this stage is setting the working hours for the AI receptionist. While it's usually set to work 24 7 by default, you can change it to match when the business is actually open. For example, if your client's business opens from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., you can set the AI receptionist to handle calls only during those hours. After setting up the phone number and availability, it's time to wrap things up. Double check everything you've entered, like the agent's details, goals, and the phone integration. Make sure all the settings match what the client needs. Once everything looks good, click the Save button. This will lock in your settings and get the AI voice receptionist fully running. Now it's ready to handle calls, collect customer details, and carry out all the tasks you've set. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope this video gave you a clear idea of how to build AI voice receptionists for local businesses using Go High Level. If you want to try Go High Level, click the link in the description. If you use my affiliate link, you'll get a 30-day trial instead of the usual 14-day free trial. Plus, you'll gain free access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course, where I'll walk you through everything you need to know to set up and launch your business successfully within those 30 days. On top of that, you'll receive over $900 worth of premium Notion templates all for free. Just click the link below to get started and claim your bonuses.